predicting the new Kilauea eruption and the research underway. And with Madame Pele hard at work, Vong has returned to Hawaii Island. What can we expect with the trade winds here across the state? This is Hawaii News Now at 10. Kilauea is once again erupting. A live look right now shows fountains of lava shooting up from the summit. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has lowered the alert level from a warning to watch. Lava is still confined to Hale Ma'uma'u Crater. There is no threat to surrounding communities. Geologists were out in the field this morning collecting a sample of the newest Earth created. The USGS says it will provide information on how the magma was stored before it made its way to the surface. I was very happy to see it now because I was here three weeks ago, which unfortunately we didn't see anything and now seeing it, it's absolutely incredible. So amazing to see Pele back. Um, it's always exciting to get the text from the bosses going, time to come up to the summit, you've been summoned. The National Park Service is reminding people there is more traffic in the area during an eruption event. So if you are planning to check it out, please drive slowly and watch out for pedestrians. Also make sure you view lava from a safe league viewing area and don't get too close to the crater. For more on the air quality impacts right now, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Robbins. Hey Jen. It always takes my breath away watching land being made before our very own eyes, especially at night with that beautiful glow with Madame Pele. And then notice we have the trade winds, but when it comes to concentration of sulfur dioxide with the VOG, we are going to be seeing it very light and it is going to be pushing towards Kau, you can see through South Point all the way to Kailua Kona. And then that plume is going to be well south of the rest of us with those trade winds dominating the forecast. And as we go into the nighttime hours, we are tracking more showers on the scope. We're seeing that pick up windward and Malka. The only alert we have up is a small craft advisory, and that's indicating how breezy the winds have been anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour into tomorrow. So wet conditions into the night. Be careful. We will be seeing some slick roadways out there and then we're seeing the trade wind inversion so when it comes to the VOG itself it is going to be about 7,000 feet above sea level and with the trade wind inversion the VOG pushing all the way towards Kau and Kona. I'll take a closer look at the rest of your first alert seven day forecast coming up soon. Thanks so much Jen. And showers are picking up into the night. Our first alert radar does show us more rain windward of Malka. I'll break down that forecast for you coming up. Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Robbins. Just love all of our viewer photos starting over on Maui. Take a look at those fair weather cumulus clouds. Jimmy Hep took this one and beautiful during sunset on the North Shore. Thank you, Vince and Shirley. We are going to be seeing mid to high level clouds sweeping over the state and also you can see those boggy skies all the way in Kona during sunset with the beautiful eruption that just occurred right now in Kilauea. Trade winds are going to be dominating the forecast at 10 to 15 at times 20 gusts up to 25 miles per hour. So the VOG has returned to Hawaii Island. It's going to push towards Kona as we can see and Hova is bringing us some swell energy tonight through tomorrow on east facing shores and also the possibility of some rain coming our way. Highs are running about 88 to 90 degrees for tomorrow, so it's going to be another warm one. But let's talk about the VOG outlook. We're seeing that at least with the trade wind flow, the particulate matter from the volcano emissions is going to return through Kau, Puna and all the way to even Kailua Kona. And the only alert that we have up right now is a small craft advisory and then notice the showers that are picking up riding in over those swift trade winds at 10 to 15 at times 20 miles per hour. So more showers into the night, but overall will be in the green, but at times some misty conditions, especially over leeward neighborhoods downwind of the mountain and you see 79 degrees and we'll get to about 77. We'll stay there for quite some time. Wake up to temperatures at 77 and jump to 80 degrees by 8 o'clock in the morning. East facing shores with Hova. Let's take a look at the waves and the numbers behind them. 4 to 7 tonight, 5 to 7 tomorrow morning, just under advisory level conditions on east facing shores. And on north facing shores, pretty flat. 1 to 3 on west facing shores. Town is running at 2 to 4. You see numerous showers now picking up windward in Mount.
Kalka. We will be seeing this trend the next couple of days as we take a look at the big picture. Remember, Hobo was churning over the eastern Pacific as a major hurricane. At one point, it peaked as a category five. That's why we're seeing the swell energy, but we're going to watch the remnant moisture out of this come into the picture in days ahead. And that's exactly what our future cast is showing us with the first alerts there. Windward about the showers Wednesday night, a little bit more coming our way, probably Thursday into Friday and then another batch probably Saturday morning. So be watching a wetter trend windward of Malka in the next several days. But a beautiful forecast. The winds coming out of the east at 10 to 20. We're going to have some heavy pockets of rain at times with some of this moisture coming into the picture. And notice east northeast with um, east winds uh, Maui coming in about 15 to 25 miles per hour and very gorgeous conditions over Hawaii Island, but then some foggy conditions as well. So keep it tuned here. Your first <coughs> alert team. We are going to be tracking some hazy conditions the next couple of days on Hawaii Island for the rest of us. Trade winds dominating the forecast.